Hey there, we're going to be going over this test right here for Math 21, Finite Math Test 3 on counting. Things like addition rule, multiplication rule, permutations, combinations. Number one, the following pair of sets is equal. That's false because this top, this A only has four elements in it and B has infinite elements in it because it's multiples of seven. There's infinite multiples of seven. Number two, we want the, this symbol here is the intersection, like an upside down U means intersection. In other words, all of the numbers that are in common in both sets. So one, three, and five are in this first set, but they are not in the second set. But nine and 19, they are in both sets. Therefore, the answer would be nine and 19, like that. That's your intersection right there. In this one, we have Reshma stops at a newsstand to buy either a newspaper or news magazine to read on a business trip. The newsstand has 11 news magazines and 10 newspapers. How many choices does Reshma have? Well, the key word here is or, so we just want to add. The answer would be 21. 11 plus 10 is 21. If you see a question like this with a small little box like or rectangle like this, then you just put the answer like that, 21. There's no work. This is considered a numerical answer or numerical question, not a essay question. Now this is an essay question because it has a big box like this. Show your work for full credit. And how many different arrangements can five men and four women be seated in a row if no one sits next to a member of the same gender? For this question, you got five men and four women. So that's nine people. Since there's an extra man, we know that the men need to be on the outsides. I uh, wish I can draw this one, but it's kind of hard to draw it, especially here since it's black. Let's do it. Let's draw it over here if we can. Let's go like this. There's nine seats. For the first seat, it has to be a man. So we'll say, how many men were there again? Let's see, five men and four women. And they're seated next to each other in a row if no one sits next to a member of the same gender. So the first one has to be a man, so there's five men. Second seat has to be a woman, so, so what were there four women? So four women, so I'm gonna put a four here. And this is all gonna be multiplication. So five times four times for the next seat. Let's see, do I care about this being so it's just something like this five times now the next seat is a man and there's only four men left over and then the next seat's a woman and there's three women left over next seat is a man so there was remember the first seat was a man five men and then the, uh, the, the next seat after so the next man seat was a four and then a woman and then now another man so there's three men left and then now a woman so the women were four women then three women and now two women and then now we're gonna get so I think we get two times one times one. Is that nine numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 2880 would be the answer. So notice that there's five men, then four men, then three men, then two men, and then lastly one man. So there's men on the outsides and in the insides right here, there's four women and then three women and then two women and then lastly one woman. So you can kind of do it visually like that. So the answer is 2880. Okay, next one. Three women are selected from the audience of a style show to receive a purse, a pair of gloves, and a scarf. If 29 women are present, in how many different ways may the gifts be given? All right, so 29 women are present. How many ways may the, may, how many, in how many different ways may the gifts be given? So we are giving three different items out. That's very important. You're giving away a purse a pair of gloves and a scarf those three items are different and that makes this a permutation right so basically it's 29 p3 and that looks i think that's it let's see three women double check yeah 29 women total how many ways may and how many different ways may the gifts be given so you can you can yeah so 29 p3 it's just a permutation because the items are different so the women getting the items they're getting different things so 29 p3 in desmos you would do that like this. You would go to function, pick the permutation and put 29 comma three. So there's your permutation. So 21,924. Number six, Belmont Records sends a disc jockey 11 new CD releases for possible use. In how many ways can the disc jockey select no more than 10? So no more than 10 is the opposite of more than 10. So more than 10 would just be 11. So that was that would be the complement. So the way that I like to do this one would be that my answer is going to be equal to 2 to the 11 minus, let me go here, 
minus the complement. What is the complement? That's going to be control C, paste this. The complement's going to be, well, there's 11 total. 11, oh, I got to get, I got to get do this in the function. So NCR 11 comma 11. So it's just 2047 would be the answer. Uh, double check this. Let's double check this. So two to the 11, there's 11 CDs. So we know that's two to the 11 because this is one group, right? One group of CDs. So it's not the two group question. It's only the one group question because of one, one, one item, CDs, CDs. And let's double check. No more than 10 is the opposite of more than 10. The complement of no more than 10 would be more than 10. So more than 10 is just 11. So yep, that's the complement is 11 choose 11, which is really just one. So 2047, that's the answer. Next one, an English reading list has 13 American novels and 16 English novels. A student must read 12 from the list and at least one, ooh, at least one must be an American novel. So this is a two group question because you have American novels and then you also have English novels. And it's also an at least one question. At least one must be American. The, the complement of that is none of them being American. So really we want to do this one like answer equals total minus complement. And we just saw that the complement is um, none being American, right? Is that what we said about the complement? Because at least one being American, the opposite or complement is none being American. Let's see, we got 13 American, 16, 13 American, 16 English. So watch this. This is the total is actually going to be what's 13 and 16. Is that what we saw? 13 and 16 is 29. So 29, and I'm sure, is it combination or is it permutation? But I think it's combination. 29, choose how many books are we choosing? Let's see. They must read 12. Okay, so they must read 12. So I'm putting a 12 in here. And uh, it's just reading. There's no order. There's no permutation. There's no arrangement. So this is combination. So that's it. And uh, none being American. None being American means we're choosing only from the English. So 16 choose 12. There you go. That's how you get it. Minus combination 16 comma 12 there we have it 51894 so this is like what 5 million 189,000 or is that 51 million it looks like 51 million there you go that's the answer there are eight teams in a conference how many games can be scheduled among these eight teams it's gonna be eight choose two eight choose two for this one for part a it's just eight choose two and then for this one, let's say that the top two teams are really good. And the first team beats all of the other teams. Also, the second best teams beat beats all of the teams below them. How many games can be won among the remaining teams? We'll just cut off the eight and the seven. So it's just the six and below. How many teams can, how many games can be scheduled from the bottom six teams? So six choose two. So A is eight choose two and B is six choose two for that one. That's it for that one, okay? Number nine, how many seven digit whole numbers can be made using only the numbers eight and nine? Ooh, this one again, hmm. How many seven digit whole numbers? can be made using only the digits eight and nine. Uh, let's think about that one. Seven digit whole numbers using only the digits eight and nine. That's just two raised to the seven, right? Because each digit can be either an eight or a nine. So you have two options for each digit. So two to the seven, 128. How many whole numbers can be made using at most seven digits and using only the numbers eight and nine? At most seven digits, how many? whole numbers can be made using at most seven digits and using only the numbers eight and nine hmm let's see so you can make zero uh you can make the, the minimum would be one digit so that's two so it's kind of like you have you have one digit you have two digits three four five six seven so this would be two plus two squared four plus two raised to the three plus two raised to the four plus two raised to the five plus two raised to the six plus two raised to the seven 
uh, oops, seven, right? Um, is that right? Because think about it. Um, how many whole numbers can be made using at most seven digits? So we're talking about whole numbers with one digit because zero digit whole numbers. That's not it. That's not a that's not a whole number. If you have zero digits, that's not a number. You need at least one digit. So basically two plus four plus eight plus 16. Yeah, because think about this one. This there's two digits that that have there's two whole numbers that can have one digit using an eight nine the number eight and the number nine there's four digits there's four whole numbers that can be made using two digits and those numbers are by the way here are they here they are just so you know 88 89 98 and 99 you see those four for two to the two for three digit numbers i'm talking about 888 eight eight nine eight nine eight you know you have you have eight apparently you're gonna have eight of these right two to the three is eight so anyways you need to find you need to add all those up um i think there's some sort of pattern here what is the pattern again i think this equals to you, you, there's a video that i have on this but i think it's one plus two plus four plus dot 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 all the way to two to the six right two raised to the six hmm forget the formula for this but there's something going on if you just check out my video on this question just go to counting and go to the which one is it this one this video just watch if you want to get this question right watch this video hold on number of 10 digit whole numbers using only eight and nine I have a video on this watch this I forget what you do but there is a formula. I sort of developed the formula here. It looks like it's something here. Right? So watch that video. If you really want to get this question right. This part B. But yeah. Or just or just add these numbers up. Little by little. Just add them up manually. Alright. So that's how you do that question. Part B. And I guess that's it. Alright. I uh, hope that helps.